Hey guys, it's Zuri and I'm back with another video. So this is another update video about my webcomic. Woo! So a lot has happened since the last time I did one of these updates videos. The biggest thing being that my art style has changed again. Yay! <laughs> um, so the last time I, I think I, I spoke about my webcomic, I was drawing one of my main characters and I had found a certain version of her that I really liked that I preferred over a previous version of her. So there was version 1 that I was drawing and talking about and then version 2 that I liked even better um, and like I did like that little OC uh, fighting video where like I pit the two of them against each other this little funny sketch thing whatever but now there's a third version that I like even more than those two versions and I think that it really boils down to the way I went about drawing which you'll be able to see in this video and before I get into the way in which I'm going about drawing um, this is a new character the drawing that you're seeing here is a new character named Ivy um, that I haven't uh, spoken about or drawn, I don't think, on this channel. So yes, meet Ivy. She's great. We love her. Um, I, I'm not going to talk too much about Ivy as a person, or maybe I will, I don't know yet, because uh, this is an unscripted video. I do want to talk about kind of the art style changes and how that is uh, going to affect the future of this webcomic. So it really comes down to the brushes that I'm using and the process. So as we know, the software that I'm using is a drawing software called Krita and the brush that I'm using for line art is called Pencil 3 Large 4B. And I really like this pencil because it's kind of see-through-ish. The opacity is at 15%, so you can kind of see through it. It's, it's a bit opaque. It also kind of looks like static, almost like television static. And so it has this sort of like gruff, pencil -y feel to it that I really like for the line art and then I also use this brush for the top layer of coloring. So because the brush is opaque, what I like is putting a different color underneath and then a color on top and you'll see exactly what I mean by that. So you have the base color and then you have the top color and you'll be able to see some of the base color underneath and it kind of just gives more dimension, makes the face look um, not just like one color because when you look at a human face, uh, even if the skin tone is smooth, there's still variety there. So I like how it gives the variety. I also like kind of making it look a little bit patchy you'll be able to see at the end um like making it kind of look not necessarily unfinished but you'll see what i mean like it's it's a little bit like you can see the the underneath color it's not completely smooth i really like that look because it kind of looks hand drawn i mean it is hand drawn but it kind of would resemble a pencil drawing that you would use with like a uh, real life pencil and real life paper but it's being recreated digitally i don't know i just really like the way that it looks and i did use this brush in my previous uh drawings of the characters in this world i, I like using it both for the liner and for the top layer of the color um because it just kind of really looks cohesive so yeah that's kind of what my process is right now and that's what my art style is for this comic i am really excited to continue drawing more and more i guess my next couple steps for this comic right now is drawing the layout of the school because it takes place in a school 
and you know we go all over the place and I feel like it'd be really helpful for me to map out the school make a map of the school and then just like dive into episode one I feel like I've been hesitating to start drawing episode one being like I need to draw all of the characters and all these different emotions and all of this stuff before because I, I really like character design and I'm really worried about like losing the characters like not making them consistent or whatever and I think I can do all of that while I start drawing episode one because I have episode one written and I think it's time to just start drawing it and it's okay if I'm starting to draw it and I'm like mm, this doesn't work or that doesn't work I think I can character design while I start drawing it now I want to talk about Ivy so I've talked about uh the twins in the past um but this is their childhood best friend who is uh, a big part of the story she's very bubbly and just kind of <laughs> ridiculous in the best way possible i absolutely love her and i'm really excited to just like draw her being her full bubbly chaotic self it's gonna be so fun uh she's really beautiful i really like um the way that she looks here and i think one of my biggest fears as an artist is not being able to recreate the characters the way that i see them in my head um <laughs> uh because it's like i guess that's something that i struggle with for other forms of art like i i am a musician i'm an actor i i'm do a lot of different things right and it's like i have a specific vision in my head for things and then when i actually start doing them it comes out a bit differently and that's fine that's just how that's just how it goes right um but at the back of my head there's like this little fear that's just like oh no it's not coming out the way that i want it to so you take a deep breath and you try again like it's totally okay um, but I guess, like, I love how she turned out here, and I'm just like, what if I'm never able to create her this beautiful again? I will, and it will be totally fine. I think it's good to, like, address your fears as an artist or as a whatever you are. Address the fears that come from whatever you're doing or whatever you're making. Addressing it and then, like, self-talking about it, which takes work, and I'm not perfect at it. But, yeah. That's kind of all I want to say right now. I am so excited to be back doing YouTube videos again. And I'm really excited to do webtoon videos again. Or webcomic videos again. Um, and a lot of drawing updates. I really like uh, kind of like the voiceover uh, paired with uh, time-lapse drawing videos or speed paints is what they're called see i haven't done this in a long time speed paints i like speed paints um i also might do like videos that are like speed paints but then you also see my face kind of like commenting on it but yeah um that's kind of all i have to say for now uh but this speed paint is a little bit longer so you can continue watching it and i'll just put some music over it and at the very end you'll see like the finished product Again, like, her skin is, like, you can see the color underneath. And for now, that's what I like. But again, this might change. Like, I said this the last time. Like, I love this art style now, but it could change. But right now, I'm feeling really confident about it, so it probably won't. But, yeah, um, that's all for voiceover Zuri. Um, <laughs> you can continue watching Ivy Come to Life. And I will see you next time. Thanks for listening.
Thank you.